In this tutorial, we're going to go over scene transitions in Doodly, as well as some special considerations when choosing a transition type, video-wide settings, and scene settings. First, if you go to video settings, you can set the type of transitions you want across the entire video. By default, it's a swipe left transition, but you can change that to any of the following. None, which as the name implies, means there's no transition between the scenes. Rather, the new scene simply appears as a cut from one scene to the next. Swipe left. This means the original scene swipes away, moving to the left and revealing a blank slate. Or if you have any assets set to appear instantly, it'll reveal those assets. Swipe right. This means the original scene swipes away, moving to the right and revealing a blank slate or any of those assets that you have set to appear instantly. Swipe up. This means the original scene swipes upwards and it reveals the blank slate or any of those assets that you have set to appear instantly. Swipe down. This is the opposite. This means the original scene swipes downward and reveals the blank slate or those assets. Mixed. This applies a random mix of transitions. So it could have, you know, a swipe left on the first one, swipe right on the next one, swipe up on the next one, and so on. Camera panning. This means that the camera moves to a blank section on the whiteboard. You can see a portion of the original drawing in the new scene. If you choose this option, be aware of how you place your assets, as you may not like which portions are shown. For example, I'll often expand an asset, I'll make it oversized, and it looks great on my scene, but if this particular transition is used, sometimes it'll look strange. Note that this setting can only be applied in the video sections of Doodly. Now let's go over to scene settings where you'll see most of the same transition controls except for camera panning. And then here's one new one called erase. The erasing transition is kind of fun as the hand with an eraser appears and erases everything from the scene so that a new scene can be drawn. Here you can change scene transitions individually based on the scene itself. So while you may initially have the video set to swipe left between every scene, you can change it as desired. I'll often switch the transition to swipe right, up, or down, depending on the assets. For example, if we put a hot air balloon in a scene, it might be fun to swipe up so that it looks like the balloon is rising. Or likewise, if you have a car on the scene and you wanna make it look like the car is speeding off, you can use a transition to give it that effect. You can do the same thing with characters as well. So a character can look like he's running off the screen, jumping above, or being pulled away. And that's the basics of scene transitions. Thanks for watching.